Hello everyone. Back again with film recaps. In this video, I'm going to recap one of the adventure thriller films from 2023, titled River Wild. Before we get to the storyline, I'd like to wish everyone a happy and great day. Without further ado, let's get straight to the storyline. In the movie's captivating opening scene, we find ourselves on a wild and winding road with Joey, who is heading towards her brother's rafting rental camp. She receives a phone call from her passionate lover, James, who's inquiring about her ongoing adventure. James ventures into their plans for the future, hinting at exploring potential homes together after her trip, but Joey's demeanor betrays a lack of enthusiasm for the conversation with her boyfriend. Sometime later, Joey eventually arrives at the campsite, where she warmly embraces a burly man named Gray, who we soon learn is her brother. Gray introduces her to two of his clients, the vivacious Carissa, and the affable Van, before delving into his business. He excitedly shares plans for an upcoming rafting excursion, and surprises Joey with the revelation that their childhood friend, Trevor, has decided to join them, despite it being his day off. Joey is taken aback by this, and her reaction isn't one of unbridled joy. Moments later, Trevor appears by Joey's side, sharing his enthusiasm for joining the adventure as soon as he learned of her participation. We learn that he's recently being released from a three-year stint in jail, and that Gray has given him a chance to turn his life around by offering him a spot in his river business. Joey's career choice as a doctor is revealed, and her uneasiness is palpable as she speaks with Trevor, but she pretends as if everything is okay. Soon after, the group rallies together, preparing for their forthcoming rafting adventure, while Gray provides instructions on paddling techniques. Joey appears to be bothered by something, but gradually warms to the group's good vibes. Moments later, Gray informs them to get ready because they are about to encounter their first rapids. After navigating the rapids, the group eventually takes a break in an idyllic spot, before venturing into the woods under Gray's guidance to set up camp. Once they finish building the tents, Carissa humorously inquires about restroom facilities, prompting Gray to suggest finding a suitable tree, while giving her a bear mace for safety. As night falls, they gather around a crackling campfire, sharing drinks and stories. Joey's discomfort grows as the group presses her for details about her boyfriend, so she reluctantly discloses that they met while working, both as doctors. The girl's comments imply that he's a handsome doctor, which triggers jealousy in Trevor, cause he seems to be into Joey right from the beginning. As the night progresses, Joey, who is tired, excuses herself to go into her tent. Later, Van announces her intention to befriend a tree, and heads into the dark to take a leak. Just then, Trevor, feeling the effects of alcohol, claims that he's gonna do the same thing, and walks into the darkness. Meanwhile in her own tent, Joey sifts through her phone, contemplating a message from her boyfriend, to which she responds with an affirmative message, but the bad network leaves her message undelivered. But just as Joey begins to drift into sleep, Ray! Guys, we need help here! all of them hear Trevor shouting for help, and the rest of the group rushes to the scene. In the darkness, they find Van on the ground with a severe head wound, and Joey quickly instructs her to lie down on the ground. Here Trevor repeatedly insists that Van slipped, and hit her head on a rock. Gray directs Trevor to take his first aid kit and satellite phone, and Joey tells Gray to take some big sticks to support Van's neck. It's then that Van reveals a disturbing truth, Trevor had attempted to assault her, leaving Joey momentarily stunned. When Trevor reappears, Joey helps in stopping the bleeding, and then Trevor mentions that the satellite phones have dead batteries. Hearing this, Gray points out that the nearest help is a ranger station, but that it will take two hours of rapid paddling to get there because there is no road. As Van's condition is critical due to a skull fracture, Gray instructs the others to pack up, much to Trevor's discontent, as they have to raft on the river in the dark, but Gray insists they have no other choice. The group swiftly packs their belongings, and embarks on their boat. Gray then scolds Trevor for failing to charge the phones as instructed, leading to a heated exchange of words between them. Van finds solace in her friend Carissa, as she reminds Carissa of how she had always been there for her during times of illness and trouble. 
After being on the water for a while, Van starts having seizures, and Joey manages to stabilize her on the raft, but time is running out. With less than an hour left until they get to their destination, Gray tells them to get ready for some big water. As the group approaches a jagged section of the river, Gray instructs the others to make a sharp left and right turn. All of them are able to get through the strong rapids by following Gray's directions. But at some point, everyone does what they are told except Trevor, who seems clueless. As a result, the entire crew is caught in the turbulent current, and their boat capsizes, forcing them to grab onto something in order to survive. Joey manages to cling to a rock for safety, calling out to the others. Meanwhile, Gray swims to where Van lies unconscious, grabs onto another rock, and climbs out of the river. He then brings Van to Joey, who begins performing CPR to revive her. Gray goes in search of Carissa and finds Trevor by himself, before hearing Carissa scream for help. Acting quickly, Gray holds Trevor from behind, and Trevor asks Carissa to grab his hand, despite her reluctance to do so when she sees Trevor's face. After both guys help Carissa, Joey speaks privately with Gray about what really happened between Van and Trevor, expressing her belief that Trevor deliberately paddled slowly to cause the boat to capsize. Gray, however, dismisses her suspicions, insisting that Trevor couldn't have done something so sinister. Just as Trevor arrives, the siblings pretend as if nothing is amiss. The following morning, the group resumes their journey, and we can see Trevor's nervousness as they get closer to the ranger station. As soon as they arrive on dry land, the girls wait by the river for Trevor and Gray to return with assistance from the ranger station. However, Trevor stops Gray along the way, he is terrified and tells Gray that it was not him, and it was all an accident. We also learn that Trevor is a felon on probation, and didn't want another incident on his record. He asks Gray to back him up, as it was for him that he went to jail in the first place, so Gray assures him that he has his back. Once they reach the ranger's home base, Gray becomes anxious when it seems nobody is there. Soon after, a vehicle arrives, and it's the ranger, and Gray explains that a girl slipped and suffered a head injury, requiring a helicopter. The ranger heads inside to make the call, but Trevor abruptly seizes the telephone, preventing him from calling for help. The ranger eyes Trevor suspiciously and attempts to retrieve the phone, leading to a physical struggle. He then draws a gun, and Trevor initially relents, but then lunges for the weapon, and a violent scuffle ensues. Guys, come on! Drop the gun! Just drop the gun! God! Trevor, get down! Things get even worse when Trevor stabs the ranger with his knife, and he even claims that the ranger was trying to kill him. Gray tries to apply pressure to the ranger's wound to save him, but Trevor insists it's futile. Gray then argues that if the ranger survives, they can get a helicopter to rescue Van, and Trevor won't be a murderer. But as he desperately tries to resuscitate the ranger, Trevor destroys the phone, and forces Gray to reaffirm their alliance. With great effort, they carry the ranger to his car, and push it off a cliff. The car explodes moments later, providing them with a cover for their actions. Later on, Trevor and Gray return to the ladies who eagerly inquire about the incoming helicopter. Carissa steps back in fear upon seeing a gun in Trevor's hands, while Gray informs them that they will change their plans, and head toward the Canadian patrol. Joey then questions them about the ranger, and Trevor simply states that he is dead. Joey also explains that Van will die if they get back into the water, but Trevor remains resolute in his decision. Later, they continue paddling, and tragically, Van succumbs to her injuries mid-river. After a while, Gray pleads with Trevor to allow them to take a break, as both women are exhausted and unable to paddle any longer. In a pivotal moment, a passing hiker spots the group, and offers to seek help, wondering if they require a helicopter. Trevor, however, reassures the hiker, emphasizing Joey's medical expertise, and Van just had a little fall. The hiker engages in casual conversation for a while and extends his assistance, but Trevor declines, so the hiker eventually departs. Just as he departs, Trevor suggests to Gray that they should shoot the hiker to prevent him from seeking help or alerting authorities, but Gray manages to dissuade Trevor from this idea. Gray states that they should take a break after some time spent paddling through the river, and that Van's burial is of the utmost importance. Once they reach dry land again, they proceed to bury Van, and Carissa is crying all along as it was her plan to go rafting. As they venture further into the woods to set up camp, Trevor decides to confide in Joey and Carissa, revealing that Gray isn't the saint he's pretending to be. Trevor recounts a dark secret, Gray was running a successful drug business, 
but he got nabbed for petty crime. To save Gray's ass, Trevor took the blame on himself and went to jail. The money Gray was pulling was huge, and he was like a brother to Trevor, plus, Trevor had no family other than Gray and Joey. Later in the evening, Trevor ties up Carissa Gray and Joey, and shows unexpected concern, asking Joey if the ropes are too tight. Joey remains silent as Trevor covers her with a blanket before drifting off to sleep. When Joey asks Gray about his business, Gray says he wasn't thinking straight. He used to drink too much and did a lot of bad things, and he is truly sorry about that and doesn't approve of what Trevor is doing right now. Joey then tells him how he let Trevor molest her when she was 15, which was a shock to him, because he thought they were together, and he promises her that this time he will help her. This revelation explains Joey's discomfort around men, including her boyfriend, whom she reluctantly spoke to over the phone. Moments later, the hiker from earlier who had suspected Trevor all along reappears. He first tries to snatch the gun from Trevor's hand, who appears in deep sleep, but Trevor's grip is strong, so the hiker opts to free the hostages instead. He proceeds to untie Joey and explains that he sensed something was wrong, prompting him to follow them. But then all of a sudden, it was getting dark, so I thought I was... Trevor wakes up, and fires at the hiker without hesitation. He starts screaming violently, and thinks it was all Joey's plan. When he is about to shoot her, Gray stops him, explaining that Joey is needed to row the boat. The next morning, Trevor orders them to bury the hiker, while Carissa sneakily hides the hiker's knife she finds in his pocket. Afterwards, they return to the boat, and continue paddling, following Trevor's instructions. Joey and Carissa remain bound by strong ropes, and Gray implores Trevor to release them stressing the need for at least four people to navigate a waterfall. Trevor, however, has full confidence in Gray's skills as a river guide and refuses to release them. But unbeknownst to Trevor, Carissa manages to steal the hiker's knife, and uses it to pierce the boat's hull. Sometime later, Trevor realizes the boat is taking on water, and accuses Carissa of sabotaging it but she vehemently denies it. Forced to make a stop, Trevor asks Gray to help him patch the boat. But then, Before they find Walter. Ah. to everyone's surprise, Gray attacks Trevor and attempts to seize the gun. The two engage in a struggle for the weapon, while Carissa struggles to free Joey from her bindings. Joey reciprocates, and she instructs Carissa to run without looking back. The girls venture into the woods, while Gray buys them some time by fighting but he gets shot shortly after. While being pursued by Trevor, a terrified Joey darts in the opposite direction, hoping to draw his attention away from Carissa. Trevor decides to pursue Joey, but she eventually leaps off a cliff, knowing that Trevor has a fear of heights and won't follow her. As Trevor misses her with his shot, Joey swims to her brother, urging him to fight for his life. She aids him in getting back to the boat so they can escape, while Trevor races back to Gray in an attempt to catch them. Fortunately, Trevor gets there a little bit late, and the siblings are able to flee the scene. Trevor then comes across two kayakers, and asks them to die for him, before taking their kayak to pursue the siblings. At the same time, Joey is preparing herself, as Gray informs her that there is a waterfall ahead on their path. Shortly after, Trevor manages to catch up with them, and they are at the tip of the biggest waterfall, where Joey was not at all qualified to raft. Unfortunately, as they approach the edge of a waterfall, Gray falls off the boat, and Joey struggles to pull him up. Sadly, they are carried away by the river's currents and the boat capsizes once more. Joey is able to swim to safety, but her injured brother is carried away, almost to the edge of the largest waterfall. However, he manages to grab onto a nearby rock, before getting dragged out of the water by her sister. Joey then struggles to keep her brother awake, but things get worse when Trevor catches up with her and stabs her from behind. He taunts her, and makes a cruel remark about her finally fighting back. With no option available, Gray ultimately decides to sacrifice his life by grabbing Trevor from behind, and jumps off the cliff to his and Trevor's deaths. Joey sees all this in pain and lays on the rock, feeling too weak to move due to the stab wound. Just then, she hears the sound of a chopper, and we soon discover that Carissa had been rescued in the woods, and had told the authority about Joey and Gray. The chopper flies about for a while as they search for Joey and her brother. It is at this point that Joey finally musters the energy to get to his feet, 
and she waves frantically as the helicopter flies overhead. Luckily for Joey, Carissa makes out her form, and tells the rescue team to descend. The movie ends as Joey cries in relief as she lays on a bed, while receiving medical attention on the chopper. Okay guys, that's all the recap of River Wild 2023. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.